Hey, good morning. As you can see, it's tally time. I've had this tally for quite a while. I don't play it a lot. I like to play it. It's fun to play, but I don't use it for gigs. Um, I've pretty much taken up the big, big, nice new orange guitar that I use mostly, and it's Green Brother. The Gretsch world. But anyway, Fender's still here. I, I don't hear quite as much of the Fender picking the, and the chicken picking sort of thing in later versions of country music. Uh, but it's still there. And if you look at the classic country music, it's all over the place. I like it because it it's closest probably to the, the old type rock and roll that I played. And also... I'm plugged into my compressor, or a compre it's called a compression sustainer, and again, it's something I don't use a lot, but it's good for the chicken picking kind of, of playing. And what it does, instead of a note ringing and continuing to play, it just plays and it's gone. And I, I'm not a speed player, I never have been, but I think the speed players really rely on that. If the notes got to ring in it, it'd, it'd be a muddy mess. But anyway... See how the notes, you hear each note. And then also with the chicken picking. There's a lot of, if you get these long fingernails or if you know how to use the pick and the finger, I don't, I, I can't do hybrid picking. But one or the other, you have to be able to get a hold of the string. like to play on this guitar in this style is Tonight the Bottle Let Me Down, the Merle Haggard song. And the guitar's got a great version. Not everybody plays it the way it's on the record. Uh, I play it in, in, let's see, in the key of A, but I believe the recording's in D. If it's in D and you're going to play the lead that he's got, he starts off in A and that's, that's not as good as starting off an E, but anyway, it's... Okay. It's, it's that magic L up here that I showed you a long time ago. something that's a little bit different you can do. A real good version of that is on Daryl Singl Singletary's version. I, I don't know who his guitar player is on there, but he gets it better than anybody I've ever heard. And they play it in A. So one, one, one more time. We're starting in E. Now, if your hand is strong, you can go. That's the way your old Singletary's guitar player plays it. Man Blues, 
It's great for this guitar. <laughs> on this guitar, I use my um, tremolo a lot on the other guitars, on the Gretsch guitars, and also on, on my Fender Stratocaster. Okay. So again... I think that's kind of a Albert Lee lick. Especially the orange bridge with the 11s and heavy bottom strings. <laughs> that I've got has got a sustainer knob on it so if, if you want to get a little ringing of notes for other songs other types of songs it's there but I right now I've got it turned off and I, on my PV I've got reverb set at three and a half that's the only effects that, that I'm using plus long fingernails I think he's one of the first people that ever recorded this chicken picking stuff, but there's a fa fantastic example of it on the original Waylon Jennings record. That's the lead, or the rhythm. Just 
to show you the compressor effect and to show you that I don't just play the Gretsch guitars, although I love the Gretsch guitars and find them very satisfactory for, for gigs and Chet Atkins music and all kinds of popular music, but there's certain songs that you can't beat. You can't beat these, these old Telecasters for Tonight the Bible Let Me Down or I Think I'll Just Stay Here and Drink, that sort of thing. But anyway, I'll go out with a little... Enjoy.